Here's Darren Wong, consultant with Karen Business Solutions. Did you know visual process flows add simplicity to Sage 300? If you routinely handle accounts payable, you probably touch at least three different modules each time you handle a transaction. You go to Purchase Orders and Purchase Order Transactions in order to enter an invoice, then Inventory Control and Periodic Processing in order to access Day End Processing, and finally Accounts Payable and Accounts Payable Transactions to confirm posting of the invoice batch list. We can convert all three of these steps into one simple visual process flow. We begin by capturing the internal ID number of each of these steps. For Invoice Batch List, I right-click on the name, I go to Properties, and I find that the ID number is AP2000. Using the same process for Invoice Entry, I find that the ID there is PO1400. And for Day End Processing, the ID is IC6800. Our easy next step is to come to Visual Process Flows and click on the AP Transaction template that ships with Sage 300. I right-click and click Edit, move all of these windows out of the way, rename the template as Purchasing Invoice Process, and then save as PO Invoice Processing. Instead of calling this Enter Vendor Invoices, I'm going to rename this as Step 1 Enter PO Invoice. Next, I'll put a box around all of these items here and click Cut over here to remove them, and click Save. Next, I highlight the blue dot and I click Link, go to Purchase Orders, and I scroll down to find that internal ID of 1400 for invoice entry and click OK and click OK again. Now I click here and select copy and paste and take the second copy of that over here and change the title to step two, day and processing. Then I highlight my blue dot, I copy it, paste it and relocate the second blue dot right there Click on it, follow the links through to Inventory Control, and down here to 6800 for Day End Processing, and click OK, and OK again. I do this whole process one more time to end up with AP Invoice Batch Processing and Invoice Batch List. I then click Save and Close. Our final step is to go up here to Admin Services to assign this flow to a user. I'll select Admin and scroll down and select Custom Process Flows and PO Invoice Processing that we've just created. And at the top, I'll put a check mark here as well and click Save and click Close. The next time you receive a PO, come down here and select your own custom Visual Process Flow. Click on here, enter an invoice number, find the appropriate receipt, select it, review the data. If it all checks out properly, go ahead and click Post and Close. Next, I click on Day End Processing and click Process. And when the processing is complete, I click Close. I click on Step 3 to bring up my AP Invoice Batch List, check the particulars. When I'm satisfied, I indicate it's ready to post. And I go ahead and click Post and Close, and we're done. To get professional help designing visual process flows for your everyday work or for more complex requirements, contact us or reach out directly to Darren Wong. So now you know.